Next, I want to teach you a principle that is really, really important to understand as you're doing search analysis. Now, a lot of people kind of miss over this technique because they're so focused on numbers and tools that they aren't just turning on their brain while they're doing the ideation process that we talked about, and so they're not uh, getting the right types of queries. And you'll see how I did as I went through ideation uh, that I could see like, ah, this one's not so good, that one's better. Well, here's a really cool technique to help you to do it. So a few years ago, I went to Egypt with my little boys uh, and we had so much fun. I just fell in love with the pyramids. You know, the Great Pyramid has 2.3 million blocks uh, of just those huge rocks. They're just incredible. So as we're there visiting, uh, we rode camels and it was super cool. We're going back around the pyramids and I mean, it was crazy coming from, you know, Utah that all of a sudden a cobra comes up, up out of the sand in front of the camel that I'm riding, freaks the camel out, the camel kind of rears back and I'm holding on for dear life. And of course I fall, boom, on my back on the sand off on this camel. And so I'm just kind of laying there looking back, kind of wipe the sand from my eyes. And as I look up, I see the pyramid like this, but it's upside down. It's an inverted pyramid. Okay, none of that's really true. But uh, that's what I want you to think of in the inverted pyramid. My wife warned me uh, to not give dad jokes in this course, but I'm going to give them anyway. She also warned me that my collar, I should probably iron it before recording this course, but we're just going for it. Okay, so the inverted pyramid, right? I want you to think of your search analysis like this, this inverted pyramid. I want you to think of the base of the pyramid, the body of the pyramid, and the apex of the pyramid. So anytime somebody is getting into a topic, they're going, everyone is going to make about the same searches. They'll say we're making a site about horses. You know, I'll bet there are five to 10 searches that 90% of the people who ever buy a horse are going to make those exact same searches, right? How much does a horse cost? Is it hard to maintain to help, you know, work with a horse, the daily kind of stuff? What are the prettiest breeds of horses? Are horses dangerous? How much space do you need to take care of a horse? Those type of searches, I mean, everyone that ever buys a horse will probably ask those same questions, right? That's the base of the pyramid. Just about everybody is going to make that. Now, of everyone who makes those same five searches, only a portion of them, you'll see we're kind of narrowing things down, only a portion of those people are ever going to actually buy a horse. So in the body of the pyramid, these are people that have gone beyond that first step and they're also making some searches. So some examples they might search is how to trim horse hooves, how to tack up a horse, how to get started with horse competitions or tips for adding a second horse to a pasture. Everybody who ever buys a horse are gonna search these things. Now, if you ever actually get that horse, we're starting to narrow down and we're, we're starting to, more people have dropped off that will never get to the point of doing a horse competition, but we're just interested in general and searched how much does a horse cost, right? So those are those body queries, base queries, then the body queries, and then we have these apex queries. These are things where everybody started, they actually bought a horse, they actually, uh, now they've actually had a certain problem with that horse, and then they're asking a question. So these apex queries might be something like, what to do if a horse keeps one foot off the ground and is hurt, okay? Now you bought a horse, you have that horse, it has problems, this specific problem is it's keeping one foot off the ground, and you're not sure what it means, it's a small group of people who are going to search that compared to how much does a horse cost, right? Another example might be how to clean a saddle without saddle soap. So first you had to buy a horse, then you had to have a saddle, and now you want to clean that saddle and you don't have saddle soap, right? <laughs> like this is pretty specific. A much smaller per percentage of people are going to be searching that compared to the base or the body queries. Just a couple of more examples. How long should a bridle be for a difficult horse? 
tips for working with a horse with intermittent colic, etc. Really think about this base, body, apex. This is a very important thing. As you're going through this ideation process, I want you to think, is this a base query, a body query, or is this an apex query? So now I'm going to give you another example, and I want you to think of some examples of a base, body, and apex query for that topic. Let's go this time to a backyard swimming pool, right? So just think for a second, just off the top of your head, you don't need any tool to do this, right? What would be an example of a base query? What are the top five or 10 things that everyone who's ever thought about a swimming pool is probably going to search those things? This is like, uh, what is it, Dora the Explorer that's like, or Blue's Clues, we're like, what do you got, friend? I <laughs> know, oh, I want you to actually think of it. What are some base queries? I'm going to give you a second. Well, how much does a swimming pool cost? That's going to be huge, right? Um, are swimming pools safe? Uh, you know, how long does it take to get a swimming pool? Uh, concrete versus vinyl versus fiberglass swimming pools. Those same things that everybody that are just kind of looking into it, they're all going to search those same type of things, right? Those are our base queries. Now I want you to think for a second, what could be some examples of what a body query would look like? Now, specifically, a body query means somebody that's past that beginner stage is actually further into the process. And so we've cut off some of the total people who would ever search anything about swimming pools, but they're still very common things that a lot of people are going to ask if they're looking into or have a swimming pool. So these might be just a few examples could be something like uh, how to clean a pool that has turned green. So now you actually have a pool, you moved past the beginning, you have it and now shoot, it's turning green, how do I actually fix this? Or how deep should a swimming pool be? You know, this is people who are, eh, that, that could even be considered more of a base query. You know, how deep does a swimming pool have to be for a diving board? You know, there's, there's some blurry lines between is this a base query that kind of everybody's going to search and a body query. It's not important that we have like specific categorizations, but you're getting the idea of what everybody's going to search and then what's a little bit more specific that maybe only pool owners are going to search or people who are very far into the process uh, of, of getting a pool or actually going to search, right? Now I want you to think of some apex queries. What are some things that are pretty specific now and are going to cut off a lot of the people that started searching down to that point? Yeah, these are real specific things. It may be something like how much do, how to fix a swim fun pool heater that isn't turning on, right? They're really specific niche questions, taking everybody who started and cutting it way down. Understanding base body and apex queries is going to help you a ton while you do this ideation phase of building your website. You'll start to just know about what the search volume is by thinking how far down the pyramid does, does this go. If it's really, really specific, there probably aren't a ton of people searching this thing. But we have to consider the size of the total pyramid. So I want to tell you about a big mistake that I made when doing search analysis on one of our sites called OutdoorTroop.com a couple years ago. Now the site overall was very successful, but I made a big chunk of the queries about hot air balloons and paramotors. And later I learned that really there wasn't enough search volume, especially for those paramotor questions. So paramotors where you have like the fan on your back and you have a parachute and you're flying around like Superman, right? The problem we found is except for everything like how much does a paramotor cost and are paramotors safe, everything past that base was too niche. It just wasn't getting the amount of search volume we needed because paramotors are really specific. Most people don't know what a paramotor is. I think if you were to just go survey people on the street, they'd say, oh, I know it's one of those flying things, but I'm not sure what, right? That, that's kind of giving us a clue in that this pyramid is probably pretty small if most people don't even know what the topic is. By thinking of the size of the pyramid, I should have said, boy, paramotor, I want to handle the base queries and that's about it. There just aren't enough people searching this. I also could have looked at, you know, how many people uh, 
how many paramotors are sold every year. Maybe I'll look at some of the major manufacturers and I see, oh, you know, we're talking about a 2,000 a year total uh, that people are even buying. And so it's just not a lot of people searching this. So is somebody specifically going to search an Apex query, such as how to change the oil in a X brand paramotor? Well, that's really specific. Maybe literally five people a year are going to search that. It's just too small. And so we had to think of the size of the pyramid, but now think of something like fishing. Let's say your topic is fishing and you, you know, a base query, how to catch a fish for the first time, right? That's going to be massive, maybe 100,000 people a month, month search something very basic like that. But then a, an apex query uh, could be something like, um, how to tie a stonefly nymph. Uh, now these are people who I was interested in fishing. I decided to get into fly fishing. I decided to tie my own flies and now I'm not sure how to tie a stonefly nymph. But you know what? Fishing is a massive sport. It's in every country in the world. People fish. Fly fishing is still very big and a lot of people do fly tying. And so there's probably still sufficient search volume even at the apex because we've considered the size of the pyramid as a whole. So now, as we're going through the ideation process and as we continue, I wanna focus our efforts on thinking of the, those ideas that we see in autocomplete and more importantly, in the partial search. I want you to think, where does it fit in your pyramid?